Uh, this poem is titled Lifelong Soldier. Oh, I haven't wrote, haven't recited it in a very long time. And I don't know how many people actually have heard this poem before. But um, here goes. I'm a lifelong soldier. I've been fighting before my time on earth to get what's mine. When my mama and daddy was making me, I had to beat out thousands upon thousands of his seed, travel through her daily acid fields, then penetrate a fertile egg in order for my life to shine. I had won the first battle, but I was still engaged in the war. I had to develop properly over the course of nine months inside her belly while I kicked and tugged on my umbilical cord, telling her to feed me more. I noticed I got too big for the belly, so I wanted out. I guess I took the right approach by constantly punching and kicking someone more than 10 times my size because she laid down the feet and let me out. When I reached the light, I cried out of joy and baby gibberish saying, yes, the war is won. But then this, this thing cut my cord in my thing. That's when I felt pain for the first time that I knew a, war had, a new war had begun. And that war is called life. I've been fighting stronger powers than before, but I'm still in the thick of it because I'm still living. I'm living my life. It's been 21 years in the making. I'm constantly fighting to get what's mine, and failure is not for me. I'm going to defeat all my enemies. The government, the seas, racism, homelessness, poverty, stop war with peace, slavery, oppression, Lucifer, and me. Because you are your own worst enemy. All those things put together are a thousand times much more bigger than me. But this lifelong soldier has allies for whom all won battles before birth. And I just like me. <laughs>